In this video, we will take a look at what are the imbalances which require a double rotation and how to perform the same. We are going to be continuing with the same assumptions as the previous video. Y is going to be the node at which the imbalance occurs, Z is going to be the parent of Y and X is going to be the child of Y that causes the imbalance. So let's look at our first case. This is the first case of imbalance. Now I'm going to fill in the respective subtrees. So Y is going to be the site of imbalance. That means that between Y and its sibling T0, there is a height difference of more than 1. In such a case, we need to perform a rotation. Now in the previous video, I said that between X, Y and Z, the middle value has to become the root. That is an easy way of remembering rotations. So let's look at these three elements. We have Z, we have Y and we have X. Y is greater than Z. X is less than Y. So X comes between Z and Y. So X is going to be the middle element. So we are going to make that the root. Y is greater than X. So Y will come to the right of X. Now Z is less than X. That's why X has come to the right subtree of Z. So we are going to put Z as the left child of X. Now we need to know where the subtrees go. T0 was to the left of Z. That space is still empty so we can keep that. Now we look at T1. T1 was to the right of Y. That space is still empty, so we can keep that. Now let's look at T2. T2 comes to the left of X. That space is not empty. So where do we put T2? T2 is coming between X and Z. So we place it between X and Z. So the space between X and Z is going to be the right child of Z. So it is going to have T2. Let's look at T3. T3 is to the right of X. The right of X is full. So where should we put T3? Somewhere between X and Y. That's where T3 comes. So the space between X and Y is going to be the left child of Y. So this is how you perform the rotation if you have this kind of an imbalance. Now it is evident that this has not been generated using a single rotation either to the left or right. This has been generated using a right left or a double rotation. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have the binary search tree. one, three, and two. In this case, I'm filling in the height values. At this point, we have an imbalance because we have the height of the node as zero and the height of the node as two. The siblings have a height difference of more than one. So there is an imbalance. So in this case, this is our y. This is our Z, this is our X. Performing right left rotation, we get a tree like this. We send X to the top. 
we have z to the left of x and we have y to the right of x and the subtrees are filled accordingly. As you can see in the new tree there is no imbalance. So this is how right left rotation works. Next we will look at another case of imbalance which requires a double rotation. The next case which would require a double rotation looks something like this. The site of imbalance is y. That means the height difference between y and t0 is more than 1. So now I have to rotate it in such a way that the imbalance goes away. So comparing z, y and x, x is going to be the middle element. Why? Because x is greater than y but less than z. So I will take x as my root. I know that x is greater than y. So I will put y as the left child of x. I know that x is less than z because that is why x has come to the left tree of z. So I will put z to the right of x because I know that z is greater than x. Now let's look at where the subtrees go. Let's look at t0 t0 comes to the right of z. There is space in the right of z, so I will place t0 there. Then I look at t1. There is space to the left of y, so I can place t1 there. Let's look at t2. t2 comes to the left of x. The left of x is full. So now I need to place t2 such that t2 comes between x and y. The space between x and y comes to the right of y. So we can place t2 there. Now we look at t3. t3 comes to the right of x. That space is taken. So where does t3 occur? t3 occurs somewhere between x and z. So even over here, t3 has to come between x and z. So that is how you perform this rotation. This rotation is called a left-right rotation. Let's look at this with an example. So let's take the following binary tree. Now I'm going to fill in the height values. So at this level we are going to face an imbalance because the siblings have a height difference of more than 1. So this is going to become my y, this is going to be my z and this is going to be my x. Upon rotation I will get a tree which looks like this. So I'm going to fill in the height values. As you can see, the resultant tree does not have any imbalances. It is a perfectly balanced tree. So this is how double rotations in an AVL tree works. We can have right-left rotation or left-right rotation.